so friends first of all just open a browser just search for five OS and go to the very first link then just click on download and here you will find a bunch of list this version is for intel 3rd gen to 7th gen processors and this is for intel 8th gen to 12th gen processors and this is for amd processors as per your pc generation you will have to select six generation so i will select this and just click and now on this page you can download from here the download will be started okay after downloading five OS, just download another software search for rufus and open the very first link scroll a little bit and here download the latest version just to click here and download is started okay now again download another software search for win rar and here you will find the very first link just click on here and just click on download and just click on here english 64 bit when the download is completed you can close the browser just open the file explorer and go to download folder and download folder you will find rufus win rar and five os just install the winaria software click on yes install done winaria installed now just right click on fight os select open with winaria and just drag in the fight os iso file to this folder it will take few minutes you will have to wait here okay it is done now just close the winaria software and now just insert a pen drive about 4 to 8 gb just double click on rufus and click on yes then again click on yes now just select the fight os iso file and drag and drop it to rufus just select here gpt it is by default selected as gpt if your pen drive is not selected then you can select by clicking here okay just click on start before click on start you'll have to remind that every data on your printer will be erased make sure you have taken a backup of your usb just click on start and click on ok the bootable printer creation process is started you'll have to wait here for 15 to 20 minutes okay now it's showing ready that means the printer is ready you can click on close now just again go to this pc and here create a new volume minimum 32 gb to create a new volume just right click on start menu and then select a disk management and then just right click on a volume and click on shrink volume here 32 gb is taken and then click on shrink okay now unallocated space is created just right click on unallocated space select a new simple volume click on next click on next click on next click on next finish okay new volume is created now just restart your pc and access the bias menu of your pc to access bias menu you can refer this photo otherwise you can search on google On bias menu just go to security and disable the secure boot after disabling secure boot just press f10 and then hit enter now you have to access the boot menu of your pc to access boot menu you can refer this photo otherwise you can search on google on the boot menu just select your pen drive and hit enter just to wait a few seconds now just click on your region and keep it layout then just click on ok now just click on get started ok here you'll have to select try first if you select install fried OS, it will erase everything on your hard drive or now if you want to make a dual boot then just click on try it first then click on next now the internet is connected click on accept and continue again accept and continue here you can sign in with a google account otherwise you can use local account i am using local account then just click on use local account and create a username here first put the username and put your password and then again confirm the password then click on next now select your theme and click on next uh, you can join or uncheck this and click on get started okay now fidos is booted up now just click on here and go to store and search for installer and select the installer just click on add okay click on add app the app is downloading you will have to wait here okay now just click on open here you will have to select a multi-boot installation if you select a full disk then it will erase everything on your drive we're going for dual boot then we'll have to, to select a multi-boot installer okay now here select the sda and then the partition partition size was 32 gb it is 32 gb okay now here select sda here sda and here also efi partition also be sda and it is automatic selected then just click on next and select the recommended option just click on install click on ok here the installation process has started you will have to wait here for 10 to 20 minutes okay now it is completed now just click on shut down just again start up your pc now on the screen you can find fidos and windows is visible here just select the fidos and click on enter Okay, now again just set up it for the last time. Congratulations, FIDOS has been installed on your PC.